up against Richard North who was almost beaten by Boris Koltsov yesterday but just got into a, a little run all of a sudden it seemed to come from nowhere North sparks into life and produced some really good stuff to win 6-5 we've just seen Joe Cullen win by the same scoreline he navigated his way past David Van Baalen booked his place in the third round the latest winner on the European Tour White though the number one seed possibly the favourite up for debate who is the favourite Peter Wright still to come tonight Mensa Soljevic first leg Richard to throw first game on who won in Austria but it is certain that White will be favourite for the win in this match because he had a fantastic season and Richard North hasn't. 60. That's fair, isn't it, Mark Webster? Yeah, not being a good year for Richard North. Um, yesterday, probably one of the highlights of his year, uh, coming from 5-2 down to defeat Boris Koltsov, but he's had a tough time of it this year. One, one appearance in the last 32 on the Pro Tour. And after a steady-ish World Championship where he... Came from two sets down to beat Robert Marianovic. He was hoping to kick on from there this year, but it's not to be. And he's got a lot of money to defend in the coming months. He had a second round appearance at the Grand Prix, debut of the World Championship, European Championship as well, where he, he, he defeated Ian White. Six legs to one last year. He'll be hoping one to repeat. The same feet, but Ian White's a different animal on the European Tour stage. Three European Tour wins, two of them this year. Defeating Peter Wright and Michael Van Gerwen in finals. And a runners-up spot in Graz as well, but he marginally lost out to Michael Van Gerwen, so really enjoyed plenty of success on the European Tour. Yep, and he's made a very strong start in this Opening match for him, double 16 for 11 data. Game shown, the first leg. Wonderful from White. Nice. A 180 and a 177. Just letting Richard North know what kind of task he's got in front of him. And another gentleman who had a nice return to form earlier on this evening, Steve West. Jamie Hughes awaits the winner of this tie. Another player who's not had the best of years, Steve West, but some real quality in both his games. Wow, man, this tournament so far, defeating Daniel Larson and obviously Jamie Hughes tonight. Yeah, you mentioned that win that North had against White in the European Championship. He also beat White in a pro tour in 2017 when he went on to reach the quarterfinals, was enjoying a much better patch of form than Richard North, but he does actually lead the head to head stat. That's. Those two wins come from three meetings against the Why Not many people have a winning record One against Diamond White. No, he's a tough cookie, Ian White. Yeah, he gets tarred with this tag of having failed to get past the quarter-final stage on TV. But those that 16. watch him week in, week out on the tour and now the European tour know what a class operator he is. No doubt he's... Big strides this year. Wow, right disappointed with how the world match play went after putting himself in such a good position, losing out to Stephen Bunton in the last 16. But I don't think it'll be long before he's at the, the business end of a major event on the big stage. Keeps playing like this, things will fall in place. Ian White. Well, that was a pressure piler. Game shot. North takes the shot out. Third leg, Richard was from first. Game on. A wonderful recovery. The second dart, the one that went in the, the treble 20, he somehow managed to use that high one as a guide there, didn't it? It looked like it kind of came in off the flight. Yeah, it was a good adjustment from Richard North. And one Stands the next leg with a maximum. Well, the thing that he's got in his locker in yesterday's match and the match that you mentioned against Marianovic and in the World Championship is that once he gets on a run, he seems to gather momentum. And if he's going to do that early in a match, then perhaps he has got what it takes to live with Ian White and inflict a, a shock here. 
45. He certainly did that from 5 2 down in his Colts on this day. He found that little run. He don't want to be putting himself in that position today against Ian White, but this is a bright start from Northey. One round of 40. Richard North did make a semi final on the Euro Tour last year, losing out to Michael Van Gerwen. And that run went a long way to securing his spot at the world match play. He eventually lost out to Simon Whitlock relatively comfortably. One round and 40. And you could argue since then, Rich hasn't reached the heights he had the year for. Yes, he had that win in the first round of the world we talked about, but it's just not clicked into gear this year. It has certainly been a struggle for Richard North in 2019. And those that have looked through his, his form book will be surprised perhaps to see him playing at this level. You've got to go back to April since he won more than one match in any tournament. Yeah, he's said this is the first European tour he's qualified for. He's defeating Kirk Shepard and Josh Payne in, in relatively low quality games. Doing his thumbs here, he's looking for a, a couple of double 19s. He's going to require 80. White wants tops. Game show the third Picture perfect stuff from Ian White. North points on the same double, but White breaks for the second time in the match. Disappointment for Northy there after starting the leg with a maximum on his darts. Ian White picks out that double top to break and lead again. One round of 40. It was the very last European Tier event of the year in which Richard North got to the semi finals. One round of 40. Booked him a place at the European Championship. And as you mentioned, had that win against Ian White there. One round of 40. And the one earlier in the year, that one of two semi finals on the Euro Tour for North, obviously, as you mentioned, booked him a place in the match play. So he's not averse to having a big run right at the end and knocking someone out of that spot. He was actually waiting. He wasn't in the final one before the match play, was he? Hoping that Willie O'Connor didn't beat MVG in the final. He hung on to that spot. Courtesy of Michael Van Gerwen beating William O'Connor. 100. He's got to a Pro Here Tour final as well, 2017 against Dave Chisnell, losing out 6-5, but he, he did have the darts in the last leg, but just couldn't convert. 69. White can't convert on this occasion, but he's got plenty of time on his side. All Richard North can do is hit big and try and make him miss. 83. Ian, you require 12. Some daylight between the players. This is all good now, down double three. No score. Northy gets an opportunity to break Richard straight back again. One treble needed in the combination. Treble 20. Now for double 19. Double 19. 80. Just the wrong side, the wire. And again, 12. Chris, you know he used that high dart as a guide. Just couldn't convert the double this time. Ian White again. Game this time converts play. the double three Ian and White. consolidates that break of throw to lead 3 1. Yeah, nice to see Ian White not being scared of that after, well, a dodgy attempt 100. at double six to leave it for the second consecutive leg. It's a high standard affair, this. 100. Call home. Tell your parents. 
100. I was there at the International Darts Open 2019. That last start. Here it's pivotal that Richard North holds on to his throw in this leg. He hasn't managed a hole throw yet in the tie. His one leg on the board came against the darts. 81. He does use long old darts, Richard North, and they do really stand to attention in the board. And we've seen on a couple of occasions how he's been able to use that. 96. There is also the downside of that where it can block targets, especially when it goes below them. There's the flip side of it though. Perfect first start, and he follows. And wow. throws it off for maximum for Richard North. Well, I'll tell you what, that is superb because what we were talking about, he's used the, the guide perfectly. It means that he won't be blocking the target. If he did a 140, you're wow. on 80 now and the potential to block the bed of double top. Instead, he just goes at it clear from that maximum. Yeah, and it was his second maximum in this match. Can he convert the double? Double ten, last start, and outside, 20. so could that 180 be in vain? Being white chips out this 90. Yeah, he crafted the chance for himself north, but now he's handed a golden opportunity to his opponent. Got to tidy this up, hasn't decided which route to go. Might be treble 19, might be treble 15. Not treble 10, that won't do it, and that won't do at all. 50. Richard North pacing in the background, willing those darts to be missed, and they have been. And he's got to do his bit now. Three more darts for the fifth leg. That's a good guide. And Game he uses that guy, the coat gets within Richard one of the whites. Six leg, Ian to throw first. The Lionheart showing some fight. He had to roar back. Against the Viking Boris Koltsov yesterday. 97. He's staying in the rear view mirror of Ian White in this match. White up at around the 100 average. 64. Richard North not too far behind. A slip from North here after the. That sat up brilliantly in the drop of 20. Only coming away with a visit of 64. As we talk about averages, Mark, but of course they can fluctuate in these relatively short format matches. A good leg or a bad leg can really affect it. But if you look at the, the average over the course of a season, Richard North across 29 matches on the Pro Tour. One, the fact that he's only played 29 matches tells you that he's not been having the best season, but two, the average across those matches is 86. Yeah, it's, and that's the story of Richard North here. He's, he said he hasn't, apart from qualifying for this event, hasn't won two games in the same tournament. One hundred. Since April. Gotta go some if he's gonna do that here. But to be competitive on the pro tour, you want to be at least above 90, don't you, Mark? On the 90 yeah, is a, a good guy, isn't it? And then you can work with that to, to get yourself obviously north of 90 if you want to go deep in tournaments. Ian White 75 Bad strike on this occasion, but once again on throw, he's got breathing space. Let's see, that was a, a snatchy down. For all those anoraks at home that's going to find Ian out if Mark Webster 40. has got above a 90 average this season, he has. Just Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> I was a bit surprised, to be honest. So was I. Game show on the <laughs> sixth leg. Ian White. White. Seventh leg, Richard, and throw first. Puts up a two leg gap again, and that was a, a comfortable holder throw. 46. Not the best of starts to the leg for Richard North. Yeah, White really does have the chance now to pile the pressure on his opponent. Four. 
45. Well, he hasn't taken that chance. North off the hook. We saw Ian White in Mannheim last week. He was out in the last 16. 16. It's pathetic, Johnny Clayton. And we also saw advance tonight against Stefan Seatman. Trailing three legs to nil and a comical miscount. Fedder got over the line. Yeah, Clayton will take on Adrian Lewis. One red and 37. Himself kind of fell over the line against Willie O'Connor this afternoon. He produced a class when it was needed under the agent at the end because he's uh, for him it was a real poor performance in terms of his average, but he dug in and um so you can take the positive of when you're not playing well and still winning. It shows the quality of the former two-time world champion. 95. Certainly does. I think the tastiest tie, perhaps, that has been set up is the one between Joe Cullen and Rob Cross. That in the same section of the draw. Joe Cullen's got a good record against Rob Cross. He beat him in the European Championships last year, the Masters. 96. Year and on tour this year, so... He did, actually. It's all the same section of the draw. It's, it's quite an interesting quirk because it was... North that beat White, Cross that beat North, and Cullen that beat Cross at the European Championships. And Steve West, who is awaiting the winner of this match, also sent shockwaves around the world in that tournament by beating Michael Van Gerwen. Anyway, North in this one has left himself handy on tops. He's doing out, but living himself out a little hole here, Rich, because he started the leg poorly, but he's done well. Good Richard setup shot. And to stay in touch. Rich knows he's only one break of throw behind and he, he won the balls as if he can claw it back. He'll like, take Game advantage of the match and he converts. Richard North, so he's staying on to Ian White's coattails. Yeah, he is just clinging on. Richard North and have to beat it to win it. 95. We've seen Ian White in games that he's in complete control of. Failed to get over the line. That game is Devon Peterson at the Alexandra Palace. One last year. He led two sets in Neil Average at 109 and somehow managed to lose the match. I'm not sure what the theatrics were about by Richard North after that maximum. One red and 37. Perhaps just batting away an insect of some kind. A fly. Well, that one flew back out. One red and swing. Well, he may have been on a nine dart here, Mark. Yeah, still good darts. Richard North, you see, he was sort of disappointed with the bounce out, which is. But he did well to. That six dart in the treble, and he's. He talked about he's only that one break of throw behind, he's got a chance. 90. Yeah, full credit to Richard North. White has left himself on a checkout. Where will North be? The end of this visit. One hundred. And you require one hundred. Important last start. That. It's a good last start. Nine darts thrown, one hundred one remaining. He back himself to get at least the one dart, the double. Yeah, and only eight of them scoring. Ninety-six. Richard require one hundred and one. One hundred one. Huge moment in this match. If he misses, Ian White comes to the board, looking at seventy-four for a five-three lead. If he hits it, he's tied it up at four apiece. And has got the darts back. He hasn't hit it. 34. That's a reckless last star from North East. He requires 74. He disappointed that attempt at the 101. This is awkward. 60, not an easy combination. Game but Ian White makes it look easy. And restores the two leg lead. And you feel that was an opportunity missed for Richard North. 43. There you see a very good level from Ian White, the scoring far superior. Nineteen of his opponent who he hasn't been able to shake off just yet in this match. Eight. But that seventy four checkout may have gone a, a long way towards doing so. Yeah, it was a, it was a good finish under the circumstances because it was a a sucker punch to Rich as well. He's thrown 
five treble twenties on the trot in that leg and still didn't wow, get a go at a double. Fulton. And Ian White can sense the finishing line. A lead of over a hundred. Ninety-four. Rich gets back in touch, but Ian White has the advantage. Just under twenty plus these. Yeah, just wonder if Richard North felt that that last that leg was going to be his best chance and wow, maybe right feeling a little bit flat right now up there Ian White is a relentless operator he will not let up so North's going to have to do something special to stay in it Winner! how about that fair yeah, play to Richard North he's had a few poor visits and a couple of bounce outs but great composure to hammer on the maximum he needed the lot but will he return Double 14, uh, double 14, double 14 remaining, double 7 for Ian White. Wow, and he just goes right inside, so. Richard will be quiet when North he breathes four. again. 104 then for North. Can he follow the maximum with a three figure out? 21. He still can. 21 scored, 83 left. He could have even looked at using that dart as a guide there, Richard North. 63. Yeah, within the same time, isn't it? Still one seven. dart at a double. But three for double two. And a place in tomorrow's last 16 for Ian White. Up for double one. Five score. All mismatched darts. Richard, you require so all chances for Richard North. Living a charmed life right now, Richard North, here in reset. He's had the rub of the green, and now he's in the red. Richard North, 10th leg in to throw first. Game on. Well, he had to produce a comeback win against Boris Coltsov from a, a larger deficit than he was trailing in this match. But the prowess of the opponent means that this would probably be One. a tougher task for Northy to turn it around but he's giving himself a chance yeah, definitely Ian White missing match starts yeah I should rephrase that shouldn't I White wow. has given him a chance yeah Rich, Rich yesterday created his own opportunity didn't he piled the pressure on hit a real purple patch from 5-2 down as Boris Colts on, but he's relied on Ian White missing 100 Ian yeah. White's just got to block out the disappointment of that last leg it has been a, a strange one on the finishing for Ian White because the combination stuff has looked pretty decent, but when he's had 81. clear darts at doubles, he's kind of got himself in, in a mess, hasn't he? Leaving himself on double three and double one. On the one two two combination, you almost think hitting the second treble was to his detriment if he'd wide the ball 25 is an easier, um, easier two dart than just returning for the seven, but. He kind of looked annoyed to have hit it as well, didn't he? Yeah, it was... And then he was just slightly over-aggressive on the double seven. He's gone inside. It, just, it does get awkward, especially for the match as well. 75. And going up to double one, the panic sets in. Well, he's still in control now. No need to panic just yet. If he doesn't find a treble here, he might start panicking. 59. 10.40 from North, he now would... Panic stations, Ian White. It's not an ideal first half for Rich, but he's adjusted well. Wow, and there wow. is the turn 40. 40. We see what it meant to Richard Here North. Yeah, he manufactured that, didn't he? The first start was a bit of a hindrance, but the second one was superb. It helped him. This won't help him. The width of the wire denies Ian White to dance. For the match at double. And now Richard North must, must take out this 105 combination. Get one down. He's got tops, tops. There's the first one. That's a great guide, and he takes it. What a finish from Richard North, and levels up the match. And he's got the darts in this 11th of the side leg. He's got the darts. He's got the heart. A comeback win yesterday against Boris Colts over now. A wonderful 105 checkout with two double tops. To punish Ian White for those mismatched darts earlier on.
and he has a throw in this decider. It's a decent enough opening. Such a good first start in the top, isn't it, Murphy? It's just begging to hit the second wow, one. Right on, it's a confident way for, to go for Richard North. He knew from the first step up to the hockey which way he was going. No indecision. Well, that was every bit as good as that 1-4-1 one, one checkout yesterday. Wow, right and this is a really solid four. leg. Where does he find it from? We know that all the professional wow, dark players right are capable of these purple patches, but for a player who's been struggling so much all season to produce this kind of thing on consecutive days with his back against the wall, have to give full credit to Richard North. Credit Ian White as well with a mismatch start and your senior opponent. Back to back 10 pluses when thrown for the match. He's responded in kind. He needs a treble here. City. Not to be, so Richard North will Richard be thinking six starts for a place in the last 16 and a match with Steve West, a repeat on their last 64 encounter at Alexandra Palace. 43. Made a bit of a mess of it there, North Here require 164. Two treble 19s. He's got to set the shot up. Look at the ball on the treble 19. He does 64. look at the ball to round off to a 10. We've seen Northy hit 105 in the last visit, in the last leg. Can he convert this 107? Well, this would be some swan song in this match. And he's got a chance, takes a step back. This would be a Houdini act from Richard North. 67. Just over the top. Ian, you require 100. Ian White, will he get more match starts? He needs another treble, treble 15, and he's going to get another match start at tops. 18. And he falls just short, and you can see the frustration. Richard, you require Richard North will get three more match starts. Darting drama. Northy taking his time. White shakes his head. He thinks the game is up. The number one seed. Is sent crashing out in his first match here at the International Darts Open. And it's turning into a, a fairy tale weekend for Richard North, the Lionheart, living up to his nickname. A comeback win against Boris Koltsov yesterday, followed up by a comeback win against the number one seed, Ian White. Today, it's North who goes through to face West tomorrow. What a win for Richard North. The number one seed, Ian White, has crashed out. At the first hurdle. Steve West. Richard, Richard, Richard. <laughs> Congratulations, man. This 105 was unbelievable. Good game. Good game, yeah. Yes, Ian White is class. Um, I think the 105 saved me there. Um, and, 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 and the way, you know, single ball, tops, tops, special. Uh, well, I like to go that way because if you get the tops, it's a marker, so that's why I go that way. I was hoping just to hit a 25, but don't hit a three. <laughs> um, but no, I was happy with the win. Um, just happy to be in the next round because I've been struggling the last year. Um, you know, I've been putting the work and it's starting to reap the rewards now, so... Um, yeah, I'm happy to be fair, but um, I've been learning a bit of German the uh, last couple of days. If I can remember it, I hold on. He had Deutsch gelernt in den letzten in den letzten 18 Stunden, möchte ich mal sagen. Er hat was, glaube ich, für heute. I think it goes ich liebe euch. Ich liebe euch. Richard North! Morgen! <laughs>